and David Richards were on their way home after visiting Carol's mother. She lives seven miles away in the care home. Police stopped them and gave them the £60 fine. South Wales Police have now withdrawn the fine after we approached them for a comment. Carol and David join us now this morning. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. We are first and foremost delighted that the South Wales Police have withdrawn this fine. But nonetheless, you have still been put through a, an horrific ordeal, I should imagine, uh, Carol. Just explain, had you checked the rules about whether you could visit your mum before you actually decided to make that journey? Well, I thought I had. Um, we looked at the website and apparently you can visit care homes as long as you're outside. Uh, which we were, we were, we, my mother's window room is on the ground floor, so, and faces the car park, so we'd just go and stand by the window, basically, and, and the carers will open the window about an inch, two inches, it's a double glazed window, and we can speak to my mum, who's way across the room, and she'll wave to us, and smile at us, sometimes, sometimes she, she's sleeping, yeah. or confused, but that is, I think that's essential for her and for us. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it, it, it was fine. And uh, we were driving home and we were stopped. And uh, I found it a pretty surreal experience as well as a deeply upsetting experience. I can imagine. David, what's it like, that moment when you suddenly see the police in your rearview mirror or in front of you and they're, they're beckoning you to, to, call, to pull over? Were you, were you nervous? Did you think you'd done something wrong or, or did you just assume it was a, a check and, and the two of you were absolutely fine? Well, I was confident we would be fine. Um, I, I saw all the police cars ahead and I, I thought, uh-oh, I don't really want them. He stopped and have to explain what we're doing. So I just pulled the car in a moment. And then they waved us towards them. So I had to move and stop in front of the lady. Um, I was quite confident that they should go through the checks and uh, we'd just move on. So, you know, I was, we were both confident surprised. that after explaining that things yeah. would be absolutely fine. And yeah, Carol, what did the police officer say to you? When you said, I've, we're just returning from um, a care home visit with my mum uh, and, and we're just going home. What, what did the police officers then say? I think she basically said it, it's a non-essential visit. Um, but I, I sort of uh, said then, um, but, you know, we've been visiting my mum. We've been outside in, a, in the car park and I've been waving to her through the window. And she said, well, we'd all like to wave to our mothers through windows. <laughs> and uh, I thought, my goodness, this is a, a bit ridiculous. I said, look, she's got vascular dementia. She's living in the care home. I've been outside. Um, nobody's been around. And... Um, I've just been waving to her, but she seemed she wasn't engaged with me. She didn't engage with me. She just told me. She ordered me, uh, and I started to feel really upset and also outraged. Um, the atmosphere got more and more chilly. Um, we didn't swear at her. We weren't impolite. I, I just continued protesting. But then it became futile and... Uh, and you got slapped with a <laughs> £60 fine. David, David look, pounds. when you look up the, the rules around care home visits in Wales, um, it says care home visits are permitted under alert level four for compassionate reasons. So it's absolutely clear that your visit was allowed um, under the law. Um, but do you have some sympathy with the police who in recent days have been criticised. For instance, there was the situation in Derbyshire where the two women mm. went out for a walk holding a coffee and they were told uh, that they were doing something that wasn't allowed uh, and that it was a picnic because they'd they taken a the coffee. coffee. Their fine was rescinded as well. Police officers have said they want to enforce the rules, but sometimes there isn't enough clarity around them. Do you have any sympathy with, with that well, argument? I, yes, I've got <clears throat> every sympathy, and I fully support the police in trying to um, you know, keep us all safe. Um, on, on this occasion, uh, I, I think uh, she was being very enthusiastic and perhaps missed a little bit about the subtlety of the situation. Um, the, the rules are changing very fast. 
there are exceptions to the rules. So perhaps, you know, every frontline police officer isn't quite up to date with every exception. And this lady might not have taken quite on board that this was actually a care home visit. I myself was not quite sure. I, I started to think, well, possibly, you know, she might be onto something. Yeah, um, well, you would. I, 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 you I, question you, yourself. We, we assume yeah. that people in authority yeah. know the rules and regulations. Carol, they have rescinded uh, the fine, which is great news. Have you had an apology from South Wales Police? Have you heard from them at all? Yes, they phoned us. They phoned us last night. Um, David took the call because they asked for David. He well, sounded a bit I, nervous. I was the one who yeah, said, Jason. Uh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, he was apologetic. And I would describe that phone call, because I spoke to him as well, as being very empathetic. Right. It was a good phone call. It was some good communication. Yeah. And I think that was constructive. But I think he said he hadn't, he wasn't aware, I, I don't think, of the, the, the media attention. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure about that. I think media attention probably accelerated this constructive result. Well, it um, certainly seemed to happen after we phoned them for comment yesterday and they thought, well, if they're going to be on a national TV programme, maybe we need to look at this more clearly. But thank goodness that they have. Thank and you. Hope, and hope, but hopefully, more importantly, for those of you who want to go out and visit your mm. elderly relatives who own care homes and you can do it safely and carefully, just like David and Carol did, mm. this will allow you to do it without the risk of penance from... Yeah, although um, it's interesting, yes. isn't it? I mean, Priti Patel was asked at the press conference this week over and over yeah. again for more clarity on the rules and she just repeated over and over again, the rules are very clear. Well, clearly, Home Secretary, they're not yeah. very clear. They're because, not clear. because they're in not. Wales, one police officer thought that it was a non-essential visit and uh, the guidance clearly says that you can make a visit to a care home. And I think a lot of people, of course, people will have sympathy for you, Karen and David, and I'm glad the fine is rescinded. But there is a lot of sympathy, I think, for police. Sure. The Adam Wagner, the um, barrister yes. who we featured earlier this week, said there have been 64 changes to the coronavirus legislation since the beginning of the pandemic. And, um, you know, good luck to the police officers who have to keep across every single change and yes, get it yeah. right on every, yeah. uh, every single time. But I'm glad in your case... <laughs> It has been rescinded and that you can carry on visiting your mum you. um, when you need to, because those visits are essential, aren't they, they are. frankly? That's they the bottom are. Line. We're, we're the fortunate ones who can actually visit our loved ones. I'm sorry for all the people who can't visit their loved ones yeah. in whatever situation. Yes, I totally agree. It's it is, it's, it is. And I, do you know what? I think the female police officer reflected some of that frustration, didn't she? We'd all yes. like to go yes. and visit our mums. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and of course, of course we we would. Um, thank you both very much indeed, and best wishes to your mum as well. We yeah. did get this statement from South Wales Police saying they have confirmed they've dropped the fine, but say they will continue to patrol communities to ensure that COVID restrictions are complied with.